super slow. I'm always late for something. Four or five buses shouldn't be running behind each other. The bus is not reliable, especially around rush hour. Buses get stuck in traffic just as much as any other vehicle carrying one or two passengers to wait so long for the bus. And when it does come, there's a crowd and it's jam-packed. Buses are slower than the average chicken. City Bus Coalition is a group of New Yorkers determined to turn around the poor bus service plaguing our city. New York City's buses are the slowest in the country and they're often unreliable. Our report details some of the most important things we can do to make them faster and work better for riders. Because it's slower than walking with all the big lines for everyone to dip their metro card. If many people in the in the bus, it's very difficult to you push the car in inside. We actually spend a lot of long time uh, as we wait to board our buses and it's it's a one file line and everyone is going to the front door swiping their metro card. So we have to improve our technology and use it on our side to come up with different creative ways that passengers can board through more than one door. They can use two or three doors depending how large the bus is to get on the bus and have the bus leave faster from the bus stop. In other parts of the world they use all the doors and they have been able to speed up the buses as they come, get on and go. They should have bus lanes. I mean, they gotta have bus lanes. And a lot of people park right in, in the bus stop. Uh, if we obey the, uh, the laws where the bus used to pass, no, no car should be blocking it. Free access to the bus driver to, you know, to make it prime time. If the buses had a dedicated lane, they could go across town at 10 or 15 miles an hour. That would be an enticement. We need to speed up buses in New York. The buses are getting slower and people are abandoning buses as a result. So how do we do that? That means more bus lanes. It means some subtle bus lanes where maybe they're not miles long, but they just affect intersections where we know buses are always held up. Those are called queue jumps. And New York City Transit needs to come to the table and equip many more of its buses so they can talk to the traffic signals and have more buses that can hold green lights when they're coming into an intersection. What about the bus is the scheduling, the times. Most of the times you gotta wait too long to get a bus. And when they do come, sometimes they come in threes and fours. There's gotta be a way that dispatchers can contact drivers and tell them, look, spread yourselves out. When I spoke to one of the drivers that you should reposition your bus so that you have that space that's supposed to be there. He said they are supposed to do that. I said they are? One of the biggest complaints that we hear from bus riders is that our buses are too slow. And when they finally do arrive, they come in bunches. And we just really need to focus on how to improve that. And we're asking the bus managers to look at better timing and better spacing and mitigating and intervening early on to make sure that we're not seeing that kind of bunching. So that buses are more evenly spaced. So bus riders feel as if another bus is coming soon. Overcrowded. Takes too long to go from one point to the other. It's a very long route in terms of getting where we need to go on time and you know you gotta turn and twist. One of the things we need to do is redesign our bus network for more frequent and efficient service. New York has changed a lot in the last 60 years, but our bus routes really haven't. In some cases we may need to add new routes. In other cases um, existing routes may be obsolete and need to be really significantly redesigned. Um, another thing that's really important is that we revise the distance between bus stops um, to allow buses to move more quickly. The bus system we have today would never be built to deliver the service it does. It was built haphazardly over a lot of years and it survived because bus riders are too often The only way you're going to really understand the impact of this system is to be on this system. Not understand the tension, the uncertainty of a bus arriving on time. Not understanding if the bus is going to be put up in traffic. As a bus rider here myself, I've depended on buses and subways my entire life. Um, and people forget that the subway doesn't run all throughout New York City. And we're forgetting a large population of people that actually depend on these buses. And it's time to prioritize our buses and actually demand of New York City to make sure that everyone here in the city can depend on mass transit.